You ready to walk? Let's walk. Let's walk. It was during a Saturday walk when Liesl Minot noticed her dog, one-year-old Enzo, chewing on something. And I didn't know what it was. I tried to get it out of his mouth, and it was gone before I had a chance to get it. When they got home, she realized he wasn't acting right. He wasn't his typical self. Later in the evening, I noticed he was wobbling like that. She shared this video of Enzo that night, appearing unsteady on his feet. Why, do you, why are you wiggling like that? They took a trip to the vet, and the diagnosis came relatively quickly. This dog has marijuana toxicity. We do not have marijuana in our home. And yes, I live with a teenager, and I talked to her, and she said, no, I promise, I don't have any. She says the vet told her it's common for dogs to pick up the substance during walks. His eyes were very red. They looked at his eyes like that, and they were very, very red. Uh, he was, I was holding him like this, but he was not wiggly. The ASPCA says its Poison Control Center noticed a large jump in calls for marijuana consumption beginning in 2019, a 765% increase over a 10-year period. Some 6,200 cases were reported in 2021 alone. I guess people are just flicking their little roaches out the window the way they would do with a cigarette butt. Um, I... Everybody I've spoken to who has ever owned a roach has said I would never have done that. I've saved them. Thankfully for Enzo, he recovered, and the ASPCA says most marijuana exposure is not serious. Still, Manone warns it's not likely an enjoyable experience for a pet, and it can impact your wallet. They gave him fluids, and they gave him nausea medication, and they gave me a big meal. I took him home and gave him a Twinkie and turned on dark side of the moon. For now, Enzo is watched closely during walks as to avoid another $600 experience. No more marijuana for you. What do you smell it?